Hey everyone, we're back with the Mila U1 and the Dyson V10 Motorhead. We're going to be doing a video where we're going to be cleaning this carpet. We're going to be doing a deep cleaning test. We have two cups of dirt here, both the same, they're both quarter cup. So we're going to be pouring this dirt into the carpet, rubbing it in, and then vacuuming it out and measuring it, which one cleans better. So, the short one is for the meal and the longer one's for the Dyson. So, here we go. I'll show you how I embed the dirt. Three passes over this area. We're gonna do our best to embed the car or embed the dirt into the carpet. Really try and get as deep into the carpet as possible to make it harder for the machines to remove it. Because that's what happens when dirt gets in your carpet and you walk on it, it embeds the dirt deeper into the carpet. So this is simulating people walking on the dirt. All right, that's pretty rubbed in. So let's do this. What the hell? Cheap camera stand. Okay, so. Right, so do the same thing. Make sure that we fully embed the dirt deep into the carpet, just like we did. Keep going over until most of it disappears. All that's left is a few pieces of surface dirt, and the rest of the dirt is embedded down into the carpet. This is a pretty thick pile of carpet as you've seen in my previous video. Some vacuums don't clean it as well. So let's go clean it up, shall we? So let's start off with the Milo. Three forward and backward passes. Same on the V10 side. We're using the V10 and it's medium power setting, not max power. See, so this is max, that's medium. Medium power, three passes, here we go. we measure the dirt out. Give me just a second. All right. So, touch of dirt on there. All right, now the paper plate is clean. Let's empty out the V10 first. Be very, very careful not to spill any of this dirt. nothing left in that dirt bin. Here's our cup. Make sure we're 
getting this on camera. Yes, we are. All right. V10 picked up basically everything except for a few pieces. So we shall put that to the side. This is the V10 cup. Here's the Mila's measure out bag. This is how I measure the dirt from the Mila. So here we go. If you're wondering how the heck do you measure dirt from a bag vacuum cleaner without a scale. This is exactly how I do it. All right. Simply, they picked up basically the same amount. Try and smooth it, but kind of difficult. There we go. Basically the same. It's not really much I can say. Basically the same amount of dirt. Put this level and I'll show you the differences. You know, the Dyson is a long cup and the meal is the short cup. Basically the same, short, long. Basically the same. Well, that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. that this cordless Dyson on its medium power setting was able to pick up the same as a full-sized operate on its max setting so that's just part one there's more so give me just a second and I'll set up the other test all right let's see how well the Dyson v10 and the meal you want to do with large surface dirt on carpet and move the camera back so you can see exactly what goes on. This will be one forward and backward pass. Dyson on medium again. So on the V10, you just clearly there's nothing. Oops, there's nothing left on this carpet. Emila did leave two pieces here. It did not leave anything in the brush roll. There's nothing left in the brush roll here. So the Dyson has won this test, and the simple reason for that is because of this line right here, where there's no cleaning action because they're left right in this strip, so that holds pieces down and prevents them from getting sucked up. So now let's go to hard floors. So we're back. We have three different types of dirt. We have cat litter, cat food, and flour. Cat food to simulate large particles of dirt. Cat food, or so cat food for large particles, flour for fine dust, and cat litter for medium particles. So let's tackle the flour first. Max suction, brush roll off. Okay, so now 
the Dyson D10. Of course, there's a kitty in the way. Baby, I gotta move you. Thank you. Alright. Let's just do the V10 and see what results we get. Flower. Still some hair. Okay, one forward and backward pass. Got the flower. shot. Yes, it is. Okay. So, here are our results. Let's go examine the floor closely. Four pieces of litter, or sorry, four pieces of cat food. Some pieces of litter right here. And all the flour except for that little spot right there. So that's the Dyson V10. So now here's the Mealy U1. You can see we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces of litter or food left. About the same amount of the medium particles and quite a large amount of flour because flour sticks to the floor and you need the carbon fiber brushes to be able to pick that up. So I'm gonna finish up picking this mess with my Dyson V10. And that is all the dirt gone. There's a little bit of... Alrighty. So, I think there's one more test left. Let's try it out. All right, so we have this mess. Whole bunch of cat litter and some flour in one area. So if you have the absolute model of the Dyson V10 or the absolute model of the V8, or you want to get yourself a fluffy Dyson head, then, and you want the absolute best hard floor cleaning, when it comes to hard floors, the soft rollers of any brand, not just Dyson's, are the kings of hard floor cleaning. So, watch. All but one piece is left. There is nothing under this brush hole. Try the same test with the meal you want. So not so easy, huh? Most of the dirt's been pushed, as you can tell. There was dirt stuck under the nozzle. Another piece of dirt stuck under the nozzle. Of course, you can't change out the nozzle in the meal like you can with the Dyson V10.
right. So, that concludes this video. Is the upright meal the king of all vacuums and outcleans everything else? Maybe not. I paid for both of these machines. Do not think I got this Dyson for free. I paid $400 for this Dyson, and I do not regret it. I paid $300 for this Miele. I paid more for the Dyson, and I like it more. It's a worthwhile cordless vacuum. It is a very good cordless vacuum. And after all of that flour, let's check what our filter looks like. There's nothing in this filter. The cyclones are clean. course let me screw it around there we go so that concludes this video and that times have moved on and people want vacuums that use new technology and I can tell you that this Dyson V10 is new technology 125,000 rpm brushless motor HEPA sealed HEPA filtration Mila has that too but we have different cleaner heads we have the soft roller we have the motorized head three different power modes oh yeah and um, yeah it's also battery powered I forgot to mention that but anyway so lesson is yes the Dyson V10 can replace a corded machine anyone's been thinking oh maybe no it can and this video showed it so that Dyson is also cheaper if you bought it regular price. I got my meal on offer for super cheap, half price. So that is the only reason I have it. This Dyson I also got on sale, but not nearly as good. It was $100 off. So from five to $400, this is a Costco exclusive model. It did not come with the fluffy head. I bought that separately from all of my hard floors down here because of the cats spill lots of food, as you can tell. And there's one more big advantage to the V10, and I will show you. Now that I'm done cleaning with the Mila U1, we're gonna have to do this. And then when this gets full, we have to go buy this. But with the V10, we do this. Step number one to finishing up using your V10. Step number two. Step number two. Now you're finished. So I hope you thought this was fun to watch and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed.